KC, do I qualify for a paid caregiver? Listen, that's absolutely a very, very, very good question. Stick around to the end and I'll be sure to answer that for you, all right? So look, if you don't know me by now, my name is Kion Church. I'm your in-home health care guy. A lot of people say, who is it do I help? I help the financially challenged family member to become a paid caregiver through the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now listen, I only believe in doing that because I think that everybody deserves some money, especially if you got to dedicate your life to helping out somebody else, you need a paycheck as well, you know what I mean? Now look, it's kind of hot in the studio, so we're going to keep this thing real fast. Hey mom, how you doing today? So look, if you're here with me, hashtag live, if you're here in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Let everybody know what city, what state you're from. You know what I mean? If you if you got somebody personally that you know that need a little Medicaid help, you know what I mean? Don't be afraid to put their name in the comment. Let them know, you know, how it's going today. People be wanting to know. They say, yo, KC, how do I get a paid caregiver? It's really easy. All you got to do is be in the Medicaid long-term health care program. Real easy. So the main question of the day is, how do I get into the program? Now, listen. Something like this, man, this is like expert talk, you know what I'm saying? You're going to need somebody really skilled in this Medicaid thing, you know what I mean? You know, somebody like myself to be able to help you up, you know what I mean? You want the best results, you got to get with a good teacher, somebody that can help you. So first thing I'm going to tell you is, in order to get into the program, they're going to give you a, they, they got a little application for you, a little three-step application, really easy, nothing to sweat, you know what I'm saying? So, how's it go? The first part of the application is all they want to do is, is check out your eligibility. If you're eligible to be in the program, then you're getting a paid caregiver from the gate. All right. So how do you know if you're eligible? Number one, you already got Medicaid. <laughs> Simple as that. You know, it might seem really hard, but you already got Medicaid. So, you know, what I mean, you won't have to be afraid that they won't accept you into the long term health care program within Medicaid because you are already there. You know, what I mean, so what they're going to do is. They want to check your medical eligibility. Really, this is what it is, all in, the, all in a nutshell. So what they're going to do, they're going to call your doctor. They're going to say, look, church wants to get into this program, how you feel about it. The doctor going to say, look, I think it's a good thing. He could definitely use a little more help. And then they're going to, they're going to slide you in there. You know what I mean? A couple other little steps that they got to do. A couple other little tiny, tiny steps. The second step to getting in, you know, passing this application thing, it's your financial eligibility. They want to check your finances out. You know, you know how Medicaid is. They want to know everything. They want to know everything. Now, look, I told you it's hot in the studio today, so don't sweat that. So, listen, they want to check your financial eligibility, and as long as nothing else has changed, because you got to remember, you're already getting Medicaid. You know what I mean? So, as long as, you know, you didn't claim no lottery tickets in the past 365 days, as long as, you know, uh, 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 that trust fund didn't kick in, nothing strange is happening. You in. You into the program. That's all I'm going to tell you. Now, listen, you got one more thing that you got to do in order for them to really be able to slide you on in there, and I'm going to give it to you, all right? Now, this, I feel, is the most important part of, let's call it the uh, the interview or, or, or whatever that you're getting into the program. You know what I mean? Now, what is it? It's the real live interview. This is where Medicaid wants to talk to you because you're the member, and they want to know, you know, do you think this program will help you? You know what I'm saying? Thanks for looking out for those in need. Absolutely. Absolutely, Mom. You know, I'm trying to help everybody that I can. You know what I mean? Every It's a lot of people need to know this good information. And it's hard to find. So if you know somebody that needs to know this stuff, put them in, put their name in the comment. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to like this video. Share it with all your friends. Let them know what's going on. You know what I mean? I got a lot of good information that I need to share with them. So look, this is how the interview is going to play out. They're going to call you and they're going to say, hey, look here, church. Tell me what it is that you need help with. Now, this is very, very, very important that you don't be afraid to share everything that's going on with you because this is how your case manager will determine how many hours you're eligible for. You know, so if you get in there and the case manager says, hey, church, what's going on? You say, oh, man, I'm all right. I don't really need nothing. He's not going to give you no hours. But if you get in there and you tell the truth, look, I need help every day getting up, getting out of bed, getting my clothes together putting my shoes on, you know, I need somebody to get my toothpaste out, put it on my toothbrush. I need a little help doing everything. Tell them everything because that's how they're going to know how to treat you. You know what I mean? If you say you don't need nothing, they're not going to give you nothing. You know what I mean? If you say you need a lot of help, which you need a lot of help, 
they're going to give you some help. You know what I mean? Now, those three things is, is all it's about. Medical eligibility, that's going to come from your doctor. You know what I mean? You, you, you already been, you know, seeing your doctor. You're in Medicaid already. You don't got to worry about that. Financial eligibility, unless you hit the lottery recently, you're probably good on that. You know what I mean? Step three, the interview. When they come to you, they know what you need. Tell them everything. You're going to be in after that. Now, look. If you got a, 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 any hang-ups, any hiccups, if you don't think you can do that or, or execute the talk well, call me. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. KC will talk to your case manager for you. I do everything for you. Don't even worry about it. See, look, I know how to talk to them. You know what I mean? Like me and them case managers, we one and one. You feel me? So if you need any help, let me know. In the meantime, don't be afraid to hit live. You know, hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast. Uh, you know, put your city and state in, you know, share this broadcast. And if you're watching this on another form or uh, on podcast, what I'm going to need you to do is download all, <laughs> all the episodes that you can straight to your phone. You know what I mean? Like this helps our numbers out a lot. Download everything, subscribe everywhere. You know, KC will see you soon. You know, don't forget hashtag live, hashtag rebroadcast.